Hi, uh, my name is Dirk Tack. The Senior Center, I have found, is a place where it is so welcoming and it is not what many people would think as of a senior center. The people that I have met uh, are as, as full of life and energy as any place. These are not the typical seniors that you might see in, in, in other senior centers. They are active and fun and people that I hopefully will become friends with, and I already have. My name is Bill Lyons. The main thing about the Senior Center and myself is the fact that, yes, I know I'm giving back, but more importantly, it gives me an outlet to be social, which I would not have at any other time to do. And I enjoy being social, I like people, so the Senior Center is a perfect fit for me. Hi there, I'm Mark Carnavali, City Council member of Cathedral City. That's part of Cathedral City. That's the part of the image that we have here in Cathedral City. You know, we're family, we work together. And I gotta tell you, we've all had some tough times. The Senior Center had some tough times. Remember when Bob first got there, they were on a shoestring. How do we get together? Let's get together, let's make this thing happen. And Bob, and, and even Shelly, when he was uh, running the place there, I mean, we brought it up to a level where it, it's just, it's, it's flowing right now. My name is Julie Bomber was so excited because there were so many different um, activities and programs that are offered to seniors like the um, friendly callers program that are reaching out to the homebound and the um, programs that set up uh, meetings with your representatives like Raul Reese and um, also fitness, Tai Chi, um, the food pantry. The number of activities is just endless. My name is Rose Rusinski. Uh, it's an opportunity to meet people. It's an opportunity to be associated with a community. Uh, it gives you a chance to, uh, even in your uh, twilight years, to expand uh, your knowledge. I've taken several classes there outside of the exercise and dance movement classes. And it just gives you a chance to be connected. And I think as we age, it's important to be connected. My name is Roseanne Canofo. For the space that they have and the amount of money they have to work with, I think they have been just fabulous in offering the programs that they have up to this point. I'm Peter Palladino. I think it's really wonderful that it's located right there at city center where, where everything is, you know? All the things that I see them advertising and all the classes they have and all the benefits that seniors can have by going there, I think it's just marvelous. Okay. My name is, is Thomas Koken. And my name is Michael Koken. And there's nothing like being home. And that's the way I look at the Senior Center is I'm home. When I walk in the door, I'm home. I know that there's, there's things that need to be done and this is why I'm here, whether it's I just need a cup of coffee and to decompress for a moment, or whether it's to pack bags for a public food bank. They're so appreciative of what you're doing for them. And it comes out not necessarily by their words, but even by their looks, and sometimes by their tears, because we're there for them, and they are so appreciative, and so it's so fulfilling, it fills your heart with love and joy. So my name is Ron Huck. As I get a little bit older and I start realizing you, you kind of need a community and the Senior Center gives a place for people to come together, it's actually a good way to get involved. You get, you get to learn more about what's going on in the community by actually attending an event. Okay, Beverly Games. The only outlet I had to be around people was the Senior Center. So. I went down, I volunteered at the reception desk, and I just kept on going. That was a lifeline for me. Ryan Saber, this is a community. One of the things that makes Cathedral City special and what makes small cities, big towns special is community. Otherwise, you could be living in Los Angeles or New York City. And it seems to me that there's a lot of spirit here and pride in the city and each of the cities here has its own culture and pride and, and that uh, being a volunteer and helping to make your city a better place is really important.
Okay, my name is Bob McKechnie. They gave me this opportunity to be executive director. It was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted to do. I love what Jeff's doing it, doing right now. He's taking it to the next level. I will support him in any way possible. But if there is an advisory board or something, I'll certainly serve on that. And I am a donor, and I encourage everyone to be donors. My name is Nancy Ross. The Cathedral City Senior Center is paramount to Cathedral City. It is an area that supports our seniors in a way nothing else in the Valley does. And although the pandemic has really set us back, this is the place where seniors go to exercise, they go to socialize, they go to understand what's going on, learn a new language, learn how to cook a meal, or just take a meal. And, and socialization is one of the most important values of our lives. So the Senior Center doesn't just benefit seniors. It benefits the entire community by offering that senior asset. So when you have a person who is older and feeling that they aren't flourishing anymore, by giving them an opportunity to do things they haven't tried before or continue doing things they have done, they remain a vibrant part of the community and of their family structure. And it's, it's so important. It's, it lengthens their lives. And what more could an organization offer than that? Patsy Koken. The value of, of having a senior center within, um, you know, just a few, within a few miles of your home and, and being able to have some place to go and people to see and things to do and to keep you f active and moving. I said, the, the value such a phenomenal establishment within our community. And it brings me great honor to be able to be part of that. And I thank you. My name is Christy Littell. It's actually how I found out about the Senior Center. Former friends of mine, and they were on their way to the Senior Center. So I went over with them and I got a list of event of things, you know, that you could do. And I went, oh, they have exercise classes. They have a chair yoga class. They have Okay, so that was how I got started. And having all, always volunteered somewhere, somehow, um, I just started then helping when they, you know, had things going. My name is Alan Carvalho. So blessed to have an incredibly activist group of people in our senior center. And, and I'm just so proud to be part of it. The Braille Institute is now coming in to use the facilities. And they're, they're working with healthcare professionals and working with legal professionals. And it's really exciting to see that anything that you may need or want, you ask. And there's a program that's related to that. It isn't just exercising and stretching. It's far more than that. It's fantastic. Stone James, I am the Director of Economic Development for the City of Cathedral City. It really took me getting to know the Executive Director before I understood the true scope of what the Senior Center does for the community. And it was, it was breathtaking, really, to find the, the importance, the value, the care, the concern, the love that they have for not only the Cathedral City residents, but residents certainly from the surrounding communities. And the extent of their involvement and uh, the physical, the mental, the social well-being that they provide and they really go above and beyond. It was, it was amazing. And so I felt that the Senior Center was such a tremendous asset for our community. Whenever I have been able to support the Senior Center in my work with the private sector, I've done so. My name is Jeff Corbin and I'm Executive Director of the Cathedral City Senior Center. I follow Bob McKechnie, who helped take the Senior Center with Shelley Kaplan, with so many others, Peter Rittenhouse, before him. Cathedral City Senior Center is special among all of the places I've lived, been, and worked because of the sense of community, because, because of the cove right above it where we have so many volunteers and donors that are part of the daily life there. Cathedral City Seniors deserve all of the same amenities and benefits that some of their other West Valley colleagues enjoy, even out in Indio. So if we had more building, more programs and services we could offer, we could become more self-sustaining, we could serve more seniors, 
and in a more comprehensive way. So new space is where it's at for us. I guess the first order of business is to recognize our hostess, Sue, Town Sue Townsley. Sue, are you out here? Yeah, Sue. This is her beautiful home filled with her beautiful art. And a couple things about Sue. She's our newest board member. Yes, just recently. Many of you know her from the Cathedral City um, Public Arts Commission. My name is Sue Townsley. When you walk in, everybody knows your name. Uh, and if you're brand new, somebody will embrace you and, and start introducing you around. It's, it's very friendly, it's warm, and uh, the classes have been terrific, but the events are even more fun. It's just people from all over the community come, not just seniors, and they attend uh, pasta dinners and uh, chili cook-offs and all kinds of things. It's just, it's a wonderful place. I see it m much as a community center. I really do. We could not walk in here before. Piles and piles of clothes and um, purses and shoes and just all kinds of things like that. I was invited to serve on the board a year ago and it's one of the biggest honors of my life. My name is Rebecca Ruffing. Senior centers are absolutely essential, not just for the health and wellness purposes of reducing isolation and, uh, and encouraging better physical and mental health, but also just for fun. Seniors really don't get enough fun in their lives and I absolutely love um, hearing the laughter and the silliness and the friendships that, that come out of senior centers. I think our senior center has a challenge when it comes to space. I think there are so many seniors in the area that need our services and the more space, the better. So the best use that we can make of the space we have and then hopefully to expand and grow in the future to better serve this community. Charlie McClendon and I'm the city manager of Cathedral City. I participate in all the fundraisers and activities. I've done drag queen bingo there and uh, uh, a number of things that I think are really fun. And you know, I recognize, of course I'm a senior myself, um, but I'm still working and I recognize that that people who don't have that interaction with others through their workplace or through their family can really benefit from the, the social engagement, from the health programs that are offered, from the, um, the food uh, programs that are offered. I think with uh, a larger, more modern facility with the ability to offer more programs at the same time so that we could appeal to many, many different needs um, concurrently, I think would be the big advantage that I would see.